The Manitoba branch of the Canadian Handicrafts Guild formulated with a clear purpose to encourage, retain, and develop Canadian handicrafts. Without a doubt, education was a crucial element needed to fulfill these principles. By the 1930s, the branch had an education department whose goal was to promote the knowledge of, interest, and high proficiency in crafts. In the early years of the branch's formation, and especially during the Depression, branch members such as Mitzi Anderson Dale, the designer and weaver of this tapestry, focused on educating adults who were either residing in rural areas or who were unemployed. This tapestry was woven using Manitoba carded wool. In light of the Depression, members were teaching the unemployed how to work with this material because it was much more cost efficient. By 1936, the branch had numerous craftspersons putting on classes. There were classes for weaving, lace making, pottery, tooled leather, glove making, and rug hooking. By this time, there was a growing interest in the craft classes and demonstrations put on by branch members. The education department developed over the years, and due to high demand, they began offering a wide range of different classes, from knitting and crochet to nature dyeing and batik. By the 1970s, the Crafts Guild of Manitoba saw great interest in people taking craft courses. They were certainly operating somewhat of a school because in 1976 alone, they had 828 students. The Guild took further steps in promoting the knowledge and proficiency in crafts in 1975 when they approved a bursary program. Funds were set aside to help students desiring to pursue craft studies in post-secondary education, and they also set aside money to help pay for a handful of students to take various workshops. Ceramic artist Alan Lakovetsky was one of the first students to receive a bursary from the Guild. He donated this piece in appreciation of the bursary he was awarded. The Education Department donated many of their teaching tools to the permanent collection, including this unfinished cathedral window sampler. The Guild had highly skilled craftspeople teaching their classes, which is evident in this beautifully quilted sampler. By the 1990s, class registration decreased significantly, most likely due to the greater availability of classes through community centers. Regardless, the commitment made by the Crafts Guild of Manitoba to promote the knowledge, proficiency, and interest in crafts has had a long-standing effect on the quality and status of crafts in Manitoba.